Solomon, the wisest man ever, had everything he wanted. And the God, the creator, had no problem with that. The only thing was he couldn't sleep with no foreign woman. Because the creator knew that if he did, he would turn their hearts against him. And it would bring down an entire nation. Ergo, our existence. Now, it's not a problem now because many of them are very unaware that they come from us. Yet pay attention to the simplest of the stories and not just perceive the truth. Like somebody got upset with me. What are you talking about, Jesus? I says, first of all, get away from me with that negative, that made up name. Get away from that made up dichotomy. How about seek the truth? They say, if you seek, you survive. If you knock, it shall be answered. Yet nobody's really doing that. They're taking everything I'm given and putting it all over the place. No work. No coming out to cocoon. No strengthening and flapping the wings to fly and soar high. Just being fed in a stockade. Need antibiotics? <laughs> Somebody to sweep the floor up behind you? Because you're crowded? Solomon, the wisest man. As wise as he was, when they turned, when when he slept with those foreign women, they turned their hearts against him. Because the Creator established it, it was by his deeds, not. It was stated that this is what will happen. And he went to building a go a god. And he built and constructed a god, a false god, another one. Do the research. And then see what, what, what actually that means. Stop giving your energy away to things you know not until you acquire the strength that is required by you to see the things that you need, not what you want or what's been given to you. to get. Because you got to remember the TV, the phone, all this stuff, there's a pattern on how to control you. And a lot of you are not free from this. All right? So be of the wise and adhere. 